Let's talk about doubling the volume of a cube. We have two cubes, one with edges of length s, and we'll make s a whole number. The volume of this one is s cubed. We'll do another cube with the edges of length x, where x is a whole number, and the volume of that is x cubed, and we want to try to double the volume from the previous one. So we'll call that 2v. This is impossible. We cannot do this. Let's talk about it. So here's an example. Let's make s4 and x5. Well, 4 cubed is 64, and 5 cubed is 125. And 125 divided by 64 is approximately 1.953125. So this is not double. It's close, but it's not double. In fact, the volume of this big one is about 2.3% too small. Let's try it again with some bigger numbers. Let's make S100 and X126. Well, 100 cubed is 1 million, and 126 cubed is 2,376. Check out the ratio of those. It's approximately 2.000376. So this volume is now 0.019% too large. It's really close. That's a tiny amount. It's very close, but it's still not exactly double. And we can keep choosing larger and larger numbers and keep getting it even closer and closer. We can make this percentage that it's off as small as we want, but we can never be exact. And here's why. So here's our given. We have the cube of edges S and the cube of edges X. And S is supposed to be a whole number and so is X. Let's do some stuff to this right-hand side. Let's take the cube root of both sides. There's a property that says if the root index is equal to the exponent, then you just have the base. We can change the b into a 3 and the a into an x, and you can see here that this just changes into x. And then we'll bring down this other stuff. Next, we'll apply another property of roots. That is that you can split it up into two separate roots. So this root of x, y is equal to the root of x times the root of y. We can change the b into a 3 and the x into a 2 and the y into a capital V. And now you can see what this thing right here changes into this right here, and we can bring down the x. Next, this v right here we know is s cubed, so I'm going to plug in s cubed for the v, and then we'll bring down everything else. Now we have another situation where the index of the root is equal to the exponent. Here it is right here, where the b is 3 and the a is s, so we know this thing right here changes into s. We'll bring down everything else. Now what is the cube root of 2? Well, what it means is that something times something times something is going to equal 2. What that ends up being is an irrational number that is approximately 1.25992. It's irrational. So now let's bring down this x, and then this is going to be an irrational number, and that irrational number is going to be multiplied by s, but we know s is going to be a whole number. An irrational number times a whole number is still an irrational number, so we have to conclude that x is an irrational number. And since it is irrational, x can't be a whole number, and this is why this is impossible. You guys are awesome. Comment on what you'd like me to talk about next, and I'll talk to you soon.